Big oh. news. Uh, Rob Wilkinson uh, tested positive in the, the latest round of PFL testings. Uh, that now makes 10 fighters for the season, and it was already a pretty thin roster to begin with, as Brendan Lothnane, uh, uh you know, highlighted on the show here. 10. And I know Rob Wilkinson's a friend of yours as well. So I, I just I'm, found out like an hour ago. Yeah. What's the, what's the word around the campfire? I don't know. I haven't talked to anybody. Um, I talked to one teammate right before I got on here, and he said that they've all known for like a week that uh, he, he told everyone before it came out. He's not denying it. Um, he's not denying it? Not denying it. Um, to, so he's just holding his hands up and be like, yeah, all right, whatever. Yeah. I succumbed yeah. to temptation, yeah. the pressure. and I, 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 I guess I'm I, the only I, one he didn't tell. But yeah. it's also not a surprise because – we all kind of know how that's going to go. Like everyone knows my opinion. There, there's no reason to say anything about it. This really sucks, Mike, to be honest with you, because I really like him a lot. Yeah. Like, like we got really close through training camp and I, I remember being halfway through and just being like kind of down on myself in training camp because I was just fucking wrecked and I was just struggling. I wasn't recovering as fast. Like even between practices, like from, Tuesday afternoon to Wednesday morning, I was just struggling and you know, I walk in the gym and I'm stiff and I'm having a hard time moving and I'm tired and I got black eyes and it's just like, he's all happy, you know, and like bouncing around and like, you ready to go? Like, and I remember like, just being like, fuck, I wish I could be like him. Like, why am I so beat up? You know, and the, we're grappling and he's so fucking strong and like, I can't take him down and he's just never got tired. And I don't know if any of that has anything to do with it, but I remember thinking that all the time, like, fuck, I wish I was like him. Well, and now I'm glad it I'm does. <laughs> it, it has a lot to do with it. And I'm not trying to knock on Rob Wilkinson, but that's the thing. I don't my, want to shit my, on him either. Cause I like him, but no, honestly, he kind of deserves but, it. But listen, you do the crime, you got to do the time and you got to take the right. court of public opinion. All the, all the things that people are going to say, not just about him, but anyone that does. And that's the big thing. People always say, Oh, steroids don't make you, uh, you know, Superman but it allows you to train like Superman. I say this all the time. When you're feeling the way you were feeling, he can walk in with a pep in his step, Boom. feeling good, feeling energetic, fully recovered, not every muscle in your body aching. So then that uh, therefore allows you to train harder. It allows you to kick harder, throw harder, because you're throwing more and more and more. Your conditioning goes through the roof. You can lift more weights because mm -hmm. your muscle fiber repairs at a faster rate. So it does have a massive, massive effect. Ten fighters, though, in the PFL. I mean, that is... That's like four, four light heavyweights, too. Like four, four light those, heavyweights, those ten guys. overall, in a very short space of time. I mean, the PFL are going to have to do something about that. I know they're making a lot of headlines right now. They've got Jake Paul joining next year. They've got yeah. uh, Francis Zingano, obviously, but they need to do something about that because half the roster is going to be bloody suspended at this rate. 